Hey guys, it's Quigley again with another ROM and this time I've got the Marshmallow ROM for the Galaxy S3 and it is really exciting so stay tuned for that. So guys, uh, I have flashed the Marshmallow ROM for the S3 and yes, S3 does now have a Marshmallow ROM. It may not be a daily driver, it may not be a stable, as stable as you would want it to be and it may not be all that great but the important thing is we are getting a Marshmallow ROM thanks to Team Exynos as I have already said. Uh, they are the ones who have already go given us the AOSP Lollipop ROM on the S3 which is pretty awesome. So yeah, that is something which I really, really, really want on the S3. Marshmallow is going to be really awesome. So yeah, let's get started now. First of all, uh, first of all, what you will see here is the lock screen, which is the standard uh, Marshmallow lock screen. And now let's get the bugs out of the way. Uh, first things first, you can see the colors is n are not really cool. Uh, the color has a problem. And it is going to be a problem for some time because they are having a few problems with that. So as you can see, there are instances where the colors uh, change and do stuff like that. So it is there. Just so you guys know, there are stuff. Uh, there is a problem with that. So yeah. Uh, the other stuff include real data. I have actually got a SIM card inserted, but it does not work. Uh, so the real is not working. Like you cannot make a call. You cannot receive SMS. Stuff like that is not gonna work. So yeah, that is also a problem. Also, SD cards. SD cards do not work right now. You cannot boot the device with an SD card installed. So that is a problem and I have gotten my SD card out so that I can just use the phone for some time and get a first impression. This is not going to be a review per se because I cannot uh, you, you, no one can use this as a daily driver. I can I cannot believe if someone is using this as a daily driver So this does not require a review. I just want to show you guys what's happening in the marshmallow scene for the s3 So yeah in the stuff that is working though Pretty much everything else is working and the touch screen is working as you can see I am actually using it Yeah, GPS is not working because GPS I couldn't get any signals outside So I'm not really entirely sure if that is a known issue or not But yeah, something surprising is that camera is working and that is not which you see often on a new Android build. The camera is working, camera does take pictures and you can actually use the pictures for most stuff. So that is really, really impressive. Uh, the video does seem to have the problems where uh, the uh, images are flat or whatever. I will be turning that. Uh, you can see the the preview is a problem and uh, that is that that used to be there in early days of lollipop and uh, uh, it is still there here so I'm not going to do stuff with that uh, I have actually installed a few applications like ES Explorer and n to benchmark I haven't uh, even tried to <laughs> do the n to benchmark but uh, I will I might but hey that is there uh, sounds work uh, everything works in that regard so that is pretty cool phone application is there but there is no real data so yeah yeah, you cannot expect it to work. Let's go to the phone about phone page because I haven't gone there yet. And yes, it is a uh, Android Marshmallow 6.0, so you can uh, do this and get the Marshmallow stuff with the Marshland game, which is probably really cool. And yeah, it does work. I mean, I, I I really like it. So yeah, it does work. Yeah, I'm not going to get too much into that. So it does work. Uh, it does have the October patches installed. So it is an older version of the patches available for the Nexus devices. So yeah, the kernel is by Haxenos. They have really, really poured their soul into this. And I really, really appreciate uh, people doing this. So that is amazing. And uh, what, they, what people can do with a bit of uh, skill and Time. So that is really awesome. Rest all settings are pr probably similar to what you would expect in any other ROM. Don't expect to have all the Marshmallow features yet enabled in this one because this is pre-alpha. This is alpha 1. It's not even beta. Uh, you really really can't use this as a daily driver for most time. Uh, so just, just keep in mind that this is not usable yet. But I want to show you guys this is coming and it is going to work. The Wi-Fi does work. I haven't actually signed in this time because, uh, well, why should I? Uh, it does work. It does uh, give you uh, 
well enough uh, st uh, things to use this for a while to just try it out so that is really really cool so yeah uh, the end of the benchmarks let's try that that is the score which I received which is about 23,000 which is not a big score and uh, well you shouldn't expect a big score from an alpha ROM but still uh, I'm really happy that the anti to benchmark score runs even so yeah that is something pretty cool so I guess I'm just said about the ROM I just want to show you guys how this thing is coming along it is really really awesome that we are actually getting marshmallow on a about three year old device so that is something really really awesome so yeah i guess that much is it about the video hope you guys like the video please share subscribe like the video if you found it useful see you guys next time bye